hope you all are having a great day. We're out here at the course at Suwannee, roughly an hour and 15 to an hour and a half south of Nashville, heading towards Chattanooga. Epic views out here. This is only a nine hole course, so you're able to, if you wanna play 18, kind of switch up the tee boxes and actually switch up the par on certain holes. Very cool feature here at the course at Suwannee. I played this course last year, last summer, had so much fun. See if we can't make some birdies today. We're gonna to roughly be playing the back of most of the tee boxes. We have number one here, par five, 550 yards, little dog leg to the left. Our aiming point's gonna be that chimney on the big building you see ahead. For the first swing of the day, we'll take that right there. There was a lot of wind dead into our face. So hit that one well, 265 yards left. As you can see, I can't see the green surface at all from here. Big sweep and draw around this tree. I'm gonna go put the camera a little further back so you can have a little better vantage point. Maybe even see the pin from there. Not a whole lot of trouble, just some bunkering up front. So gonna try to knock this up there close. There was a lot of wind right there, and I felt with a lot of height, got the draw, maybe a little too much draw, left hand rough, 55 yards left, let's so knock it close. Not too bad right there, let's go roll the rock. Really not gonna land that a whole lot better. This is a very steep slope right there landed right there. I'll fix that divot in a second. Rolled it there. Oh, that was quick and had a lot of break. We are in with the par here on one. Last time I played out here, I shot even par. See if I can't get under par in today's round. Even par through one, we're on at number two, par five, 500 yards. Super cool bunker right there. We're gonna be teeing it high, letting it fly right over it. Green sits off back to the right, and our aiming point is gonna be that small bunker you see off in the distance. Should be in good shape right there. Well, thankfully these tall weeds blocked my ball from going down in the hazard back up the hill, 197 yards left. I made contact with that ball and the club head stopped. That was, uh, yeah. In case you wanted to see the lashing, there it is. And there's roughly where the club head stopped, didn't progress past there. Thankfully we found the fairway. Walking across the little canal. That's a little water spout right there, I guess to feed into the canal. That's kind of cool. Thankfully my ball stayed right there and didn't go into it. That seven iron right there turned into roughly uh, a pitching wedge. I've got 50 yards left, front pin. Let's knock it close. I hit that clean. I thought that was going to be tight. Needed that to land about a foot further. Mm. Good roll right there. That's a par here on two. Even par through two holes. We're on to number three. One of the two par threes out here with an epic view behind the green. So excited to share this view with y'all. 181 yards, eight iron in hand.
Not too bad right there. Missed it in the proper place. A little short right, roughly 35 feet left for birdie. Walk into the back side of the green to show y'all this epic view. What an incredible view. You can see for miles. Yes, we're going to keep zooming in. That's pretty insane. Yeah, let's uh, roll the rock. These greens sure are pure. Good putt there. That's par here on three. One last glimpse of that view and on to number four. 267 yard par four, bunker to the left and a bunker to the right. I'm thinking stinger right down the middle, maybe right at those two trees. So I wanted to play it a little right. This was a little too far right, ended up in the bunker. It did roll up there and then trundle back, almost got through the bunker. This is a brutal hole location. Let's not get close. Lesson learned right there. Don't hit it into that bunker. That's a very difficult bunker shot. We're right here putting back up the hill, roughly 40 feet. Wanted to show y'all how difficult this hole location is. There's just a little corner right here. Takes precision to get it close. Let's roll the rock. I am loving the speed of these greens. Hitting some good putts, par here on four. Even par through four holes, we're on to number five, which is a par three. And these greens are pure. They're probably rolling 11 today, but very smooth, excellent bent grass greens, 200 yards, seven iron. Little right, but shouldn't be in too bad a shape. Just hung on here on the right side. Long putt ahead, roughly 50, 55 feet, and another epic view. That's a par here on number five. They even got a cool little bench here for you to take a breather and look at that horizon. Even par through five holes onto number six, par four, 427 yards. There's a bunker off in the distance that's gonna be our target. Anything just a little right is gonna be okay. To get high, let it fly. That one should be in decent shape right there. The miss on this hole was definitely to the right. Caught that a little spinny, but missed it in the proper place. 151 yards, right back into the wind. Gonna try to flight this eight iron low, little three quarter, let's knock it close. That was the best swing of the day right there. Let's go roll the rock. Controlled the tempo of the swing, controlled the trajectory, and controlled the distance exactly how we drew it up. Roughly six feet left. Let's get our first pin slammer of the day. That was huge. Pin slammer here on six. 
first pin slammer of the day, that is what we were looking for. One under through six on great pace to break my record here at Swanee. Even par the last time I played here. So anything under par would break the record. We're on to number seven, par four, 417 yards, stinger time. Little bit of a dog leg to the left. Bunker there on the left side, bunker on the right side. We're gonna sting it right in between them. Middle of the fairway right here, 168 yards left. I've got a seven iron on this upslope that's gonna add loft and it's back into the wind. Let's knock it close. I can't see it down from here, but hit that one well. Should be in good shape. Making some quality swings. Love to see it roughly 15 feet left. Hit that roughly pin high. Pretty much stayed right where it landed. Boy, that was a quick putt right there. We're in with the par here on seven. Have worked really hard on my brand Ostrich and we just dropped the hats not too long ago. So I'll drop the link down below so you can check it out. Maybe get yours if you like it. Check it out, ostrich.com. Making some good swings, hitting some precise numbers. Love to see that, especially in windy conditions. One under through seven. We're on to number eight, par four, 371 yards. We're gonna hit a stinger. There is the green right there, bends a little to the left. That tree you see is going to be our target. Walking up here, I totally forgot this brutal bunker is in the middle of the fairway. Thankfully, I didn't hit it directly at the tree. It was a little left and it trundled left and kept rolling 107 yards left, right pin. Might have juiced that sand wedge just a little too much. I thought we were gonna have a little more sauce, a little more spin on that, didn't spin much. Roughly 35 feet, rolling back down the hill. See if we can't put a good roll on it. That putt was slippery and I didn't think it was gonna stop once it got going down the hill. That is a par here on eight. This has been so much fun. I've really enjoyed this course. You can come out here for $20 and walk nine holes during the week. What a deal. Views are amazing. We have one hole left, number nine, which on the scorecard from the back box does say a par five. That's where we're gonna play it from. Typically, you would probably only play two of these holes as par fives. That way you could play a full 18 and kind of switch up some tee boxes. But we're gonna play three par fives, par 37 here today. Let's tee it high, let it fly, in with an eagle. This hole is pretty straight away. There is a bunker you see down there on the right. So pretty much anything just left of that should be just fine. Pretty sure I carried that bunker, no problem, but couldn't tell if it trickled into the rough. Let's go find it. Like I said, just trickled into the rough. 196 yards left, let's knock it close. And that is why you want to hit the fairway. Caught a flyer there. That thing flew a long ways. Didn't have much spin. A little right of the green, and I think it's a little long. Let's go get this up and down.
and we are in the flowers. Here's what we're faced with, roughly 25 yards, chipping back into the green. That was a huge up and down pin slammer. Hope you all enjoy coming along. If you did, drop a like down below. That was so much fun. This course is awesome. And for only 20 bucks to walk this nine holes with those kind of views and these greens, you're not gonna beat that anywhere. Those are $100 views. Finished at two under par, which beat my record here at Suwannee. The last time I was thinking back, and I do believe I did play the ninth hole as a par four to play at even par. So that up and down was to clinch it for my record. So today we beat my record. Let's go. Drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe as well and ring that bell. Turn those notifications on so you don't miss any future content. Y'all, until next time, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.